First of all, I was arrested in August 7 to this year. Then I was remanded in Nairobi Medium Prison. Then it was on a Tuesday, whereby we were watching the news. Then my friends just started telling me, hey, and those were pictures. Then automatically I saw them, they were mine. Then the time I decided to, to follow up the, the story it was about someone known as Paul Manyasi, who is not me, whereby this person was working as a cleaner in the airport. Then after that, the following day in the morning, uh, one of the welfare madams in the medium prison, they called me asking me if I'm the Paul Manyasi. Whereby my, my face there, the pictures that were there are mine, but in the airport. So, after there, even my friend there, they just started calling me Kifo. They said, published uh, across the world. The news originated from a, a docu-series which was done by John Sparks, the African correspondent for Sky News. And ever since, from what you've heard from the family, you can tell the disappointment, the, the shock, the trauma. Yeah, some are saying that they cannot even find work. You've heard the father saying that for the son to be allowed into the homestead, certain rituals have to be done. We don't take this easily at all. Uh, and we are doing everything possible to have Sky News and also John Sparks rectify. Uh, what we have seen is that in our uh, research for this matter, we've seen that there was a lot of state, magic, state managing, a lot of unprofessional conduct on the side of the storytellers. Our clients were not consulted before the story was published. They were given insufficient information. And uh, the story which has been published right now is saying that my client is dead. Well, you've seen it for yourself that uh, my client is alive and kicking. He may, be, he may be held in custody right now, but you can see he's alive. He told you himself that his name is not uh, Paul Manyasi. That the same Paul Manyasi is a person completely unknown to him. The father has also said that he never told the journalist from Sky News that his son was Paul Manyasi. You've also learned from the father that the photos which were shared and used to propagate the story by John Sparks were gotten uh, from Facebook. The only photo which came from the father was the father trying to clarify that the ifit image which was being given was not in any way his son. He said his son was alive. He gave them a photo. But despite all these, all these uh, steps which were taken by the family, they still went on to publish the story, this completely disparaging my client's name. And for that reason, we are not trusting. We have already. Uh, we're already in the process of, we've sent a, <clears throat> a serious demand letter to Sky News specifically, to John Sparks specifically, to the Sky News African Bureau in South Africa, <coughs> asking them, demanding that they apologize, asking them to rectify the story, to indicate that a client has never been and is not Paul Manjas, admitting that our client is not dead, and to also admit liability for the defamation and the damage to my client's name which they've done. We give them a time period, and if we do not receive any, any response, any favorable response, we are going to pursue legal action, not only in the country, but also in London. This is a matter we to take very seriously. Uh, I think that is what we're going to say. But we hope that they, they do comply, and this is not a matter to be taken easily.